Hello everyone. Well, the seller of this Hoover Junior obviously realised it condenses into a very small box because this is what I have, a very small box, and I'm assuming it will contain a Hoover Junior. Some sellers don't realise that the handles come apart on vacuum cleaners and they end up sending them in huge boxes or bin bags. So, hopefully this Junior has arrived intact. They're fairly robust anyway, so I've got high hopes for this one. It's a while since I've shown you an older Junior. I've shown you a few sort of newer, late 70s, early 80s. I think this is definitely a 70s one. And it's a colour scheme that I've always liked. And as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the design I'm about to show you is the last of its type before Hoover introduced the U1036, the new Restyle Junior. Now, Hoover probably used this design later because they were using up parts or they, they had exclusive models, exclusive to catalogues or retailers. So I can't say this is definitely the last of its shape, this model, but I think it's the last sort of mass market, widely available one, but it might not be. Well, it's been well packed anyway. And, whew, Judging by the top fill tube, it's very clean. This looked in fairly good condition, um, which is why I went for it. And indeed, yes, the picture wasn't very good, but that is absolutely a little bit of muck on that, but the condition of that, the top hook, very brittle, they often break, or the bottom hook breaks, that's intact, and as far as I know, it should be this colour. It's not white. It is a cream colour or an off-white colour. So that's good news so far. The condition of the handle. The lower handle. Ah, oh, well, here's where it goes a little bit downhill. We've got a dent there, which I don't think happened during transit. But I don't think it's going to show. It's on the side where the bag is. It's not going to be too noticeable. The lower hook is fine as well. Here's the bag, so this is the colour of the Junior, sort of a mustard colour, and that bag doesn't even need washing. You've got to be very, very careful washing bags of this age. The bags normally withstand washing, especially these plasticised bags, but it's the Hoover branding that often comes off. It's not so bad on this style, but on the later styles, the U1036, U1104s, with a Hoover roundel, those will come off <laughs> by looking at them. You just have to dip them in water and you've lost the logo. But I don't think, to be honest, this is even gonna need washing. Let's have a look inside. This seems absolutely ridiculously clean. I'm gonna, I don't think that's been cleaned. I think this is how it is. I don't think this cleaner has had much use. And here she is. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> no polish necessary. Lovely clean cable, which looks original. Let's pop you down there for a minute. I don't think we've got anything else in this bag or box. Be nice to have the original instructions, but we haven't got that. Well, first impressions of this Junior. <laughs> wow. Now this wasn't cheap, cheap. I think I ended up paying 70 pounds for this, which um, no, it wouldn't have sold anywhere near that when it was in the shops. I think these were possibly around 40 or something like that in the 70s. There's a little mark on it. But, blimey O'Reilly, that is very good. Okay then, I'm going to assemble the machine and then we'll have a closer look and a bit of a demo. Well, there you go, I've assembled the Hoover Junior and I'm absolutely filled with it, providing it works and doesn't blow up. It is as near as mint as one could get, apart from getting, of course, a factory sealed one. 
I don't think this is hardly seen any use and we'll know for sure when I look on the underside of this cleaner that'll be the telltale signs of uh, how many miles of carpet this machine has been pushed along but I don't think it's even been pushed well half a mile a quarter of a mile looking at the exterior it is absolutely I mean look folks just look at that <laughs> thrilled thrilled with it I think if the seller had done better photos this would have gone for more than 70 pounds anyway it didn't have a bag so I have fitted a bag inside the cloth bag the junior and older style seniors take an H1 dust bag which has a rather odd way of fitting it using this rubber band now I can't pull it out much further because there is a little and I've forgotten what you call them but you can <laughs> we had them at school they're just two little metal pieces with a piece of string and they're for holding paper together but Hoover use it to keep the fill tube in place but this one's pretty short normally this tube would come out further I'm gonna have a bit more of a look to see why it's not coming out I think it's just been stitched in too far in so this fill tube should really come out a bit further than it is so basically you fold the normally the paper bag in such a way that you can get it on the tube and then you roll this uh, rubber band over it so this is a non-genuine SIBO bag but it's not for the X series this is for the BS series which uh, this is the type of bag collar the BS series has so it's for the bigger commercial now the reason I go for these instead of the X7 in general they're a little bit longer than the X7 ones not by much but just a little bit longer so they're more like the size of the original Hoover H1 bag so now it's time to have a look at the underside of this Hoover Junior to see if the condition is as good as the rest of it well this cleaner just keeps on giving because the underside of this Hoover Junior is immaculate it's as near factory fresh as I'm likely to get one common sign you can see that a vacuum's had a hard life are the wheels these wheels are smooth they're not pitted they're not marked and they're not dirty absolutely fantastic condition moving down to the hoover beats as it sweeps as it cleans agitator now these are painted and often they're rusty and pit marked this isn't perfect but it's in pretty good condition isn't it look at that You've got the metal beater bars there and the brushes, as one would expect, very long. And even as I'm turning this, the belt feels pretty tight. So I don't think I'm even going to have to put a new belt in. Not yet, anyway. The belt's located under there. I'll show you the front of the belt or the fan assembly and everything in a minute when I turn the machine back over. But I can't complain with this. What I'm going to do, though, is just remove the motor cover because Hoover Juniors are notorious for gathering fluff underneath this cover here and often fluff can be packed well in after a few years of use I somehow think that this is going to be spotless there are two small little washers under here I'm trying not to lose them as I take this cover off that's one there we go and yes look look at that folks an absolutely spotless motor I can't see where the suppressor is ah uh, ah now that is unusual mmm this I believe has been desuppressed I say it's been desuppressed. The suppressor is still inside, but it doesn't look like it's ever been wired up. To me, this looks like this has been done at the factory. I could be wrong, but whatever's happened, it's a professional job. We can see that the suppressor has been bypassed. These wires here, I'm pretty sure, would have normally gone into the suppressor there. So whether this has just been done recently or I don't know but to me that looks like that's always been like that. If you have any idea why Hoover would still fit a suppressor but not actually wire it up please let me know or do you think it's just been bypassed 
because it stopped working or to prevent any explosions. Hopefully you can just about see the suppressor in the middle of your picture. Can you just see there where it would be wired up? It's very hard for me to point at. Let's try and do it with my screwdriver. There's two connections there and on the other side there are two connections. So normally that would be wired in to the motor but it has been bypassed so that I wasn't expecting to see that at all and for those of you who don't know what the suppressor is and why we don't need them anymore a suppressor was fitted to appliances normally appliances with electric motors to prevent them causing interference to your TV and radio reception so if you're old enough to remember sometimes you'd be watching your cartoons on a Saturday morning and your mother would come along vacuuming and apart from the noise it would interfere with the television picture and it would make the picture go all fuzzy until your mother had moved out of the way or into another room and also it could affect reception of radio broadcasts so these suppressors were fitted to prevent the electric motor from causing interference but nowadays with our digital TVs DAB radios etc we don't need them or well, some people say you still need them but what I can definitely say is if you bypass a suppressor the vacuum cleaner will still work and when suppressors get old they can blow up causing a bit of a nasty shock or not an electric shock but just a wow well, what happened you know they can make a noise they can make a horrible smell and they can uh, well this make you need to change your underpants but fortunately we should have no underpant worries with this model my underpants will remain fresh as a daisy for me the most recognizable part of a hoover junior is this plate that covers the belt assembly and you also remove the plate when you want to attach the optional cleaning tools now this junior came in many different colors the most common that i've seen would be a white and a sort of a dark blue cover plate which I've got one of those more or less new in the box opened up my channel a long time ago haven't really used it but this one I'm certainly going to use so the cover plate comes off and there's a slight look it has had a little bit of use you can barely see but there's a bit of dust there so you remove the cover plate when you need to change the belt or when you're fitting the hose converter to use this machine above floor so looking at that belt that is in surprisingly good condition here we can see the fan that creates the suction and on this era of junior it's still made of metal later versions would have had a plastic fan and you can see the spindle there with the drive belt over it and obviously over the agitator so as the motor spins and turns the fan it also turns the agitator. Okay, so it's Hoover model U1012, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 250 watts. The serial number is U1012604242567. Trademarks of Hoover Limited, made by Hoover Limited, Great Britain. Now let's see if I can remember this time how to date this. So the serial number contains the model number u1012 followed by a six which i think denotes the year so i think this is 76 because it's certainly not 66 or 86 so i think i'm right in assuming this is from 1976 and i think the 04 could mean april so uh, is this from April 76? Have I got this right, folks? I'm sure if I haven't, somebody will kindly correct me in the comments section below. Okay, well, I think it's about time I switch this junior on. Obviously, the belt seems okay. The brushes are certainly fine. And there's no suppressor fitted. So uh, it should be okay. I've checked the plug, which I'll show you, actually, for any of you interested. It is... Uh, a lovely vintage MK plug I had to rewire it because it wasn't actually fitted properly 
But unfortunately, the cord clamp inside this it used to be made not of plastic, it's of some other material, but um, it's not gripping on one of the screws. So I'll see if I can just change that part because that is a lovely, lovely old vintage plug fitted to this lovely old Hoover from the 70s, I believe. Just a couple of things to show you on the machine. We've got the famous Rolo shaped, Rolo chocolate shaped on off button. You've got your handle release pedal there and a slightly restyled height control on this one. So I'm going to try it on this highest setting for the carpet in my living room. But you can lower it. It's a bit stiff, you have to tilt the machine back. So fully front, obviously it's for low pile carpets. And then it's got three other settings, sort of low to medium and right up to high pile there we go so i'm going to try it on the high pile setting I've put a bit of dirt down in front of me that I'll attempt to clean up with this Hoover Junior but before I do I'm just gonna have a look in the bag it was a brand new bag when I fitted it and I've just gone over a very small area of my living room carpet and it did look clean so it'll be interesting to see if there's any dirt in here oh wow now there's there's hairs which I expected Look at that. This carpet was vacuumed yesterday and I have been using some SIBO Duo P powder recently and there is traces of that. And yet I went over this carpet a couple of times with a commercial grade upright vacuum and there's still traces of the powder in there. Wow. So anyway, this bag's gonna get a bit fuller now and this machine is going to, well, I'm going to attempt to pick up some dirt with this machine, probably more dirt than it's ever picked up. In this one video, these are very awkward to fit, you know. Just got to make sure you keep hold of them while you're rolling the, the rubber band over. Very primitive, isn't it? But it works. And incidentally, it was a Hoover Junior, similar to this, that James Dyson was using when he got a bit fed up because it wasn't picking up. All he had to do basically was change the bag and then it would have been fine. But that set him on the path of the bagless revolution, which, well, like them all over them. I think bagless cleaners are here to stay, but personally, I prefer the old bag. Okay then, I'm gonna pick up, hopefully, the dirt I've put down.
Well, I'd be more than happy to use this Hoover Junior as a daily vacuum, especially when fitted with a high filtration fleece bag to bring it way up to date. It sounds so nostalgic. It's got the classic Hoover sound of the beta bars, the brushes, the, the low hum of the motor. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. And yes, this old 70s vacuum cleaner copes very, very well with this plush carpet, unlike a lot of modern cleaners I've been using recently. Absolute joy to use. It's the most basic, the most popular of the Hoovers from its day, the most e instantly recognisable. But to me, it's a classic. It's cheap and cheerful, simple. It kept millions of people's homes clean throughout the 70s, this machine. And of course, well, every decade the Hoover Junior was made, even up to the 80s, it was cleaning people's homes. If you have any comments or questions about this beauty, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.